Germany, a country known for its beer, bread, castles, and rejected artists. Oh wait, that last one is Austria. And of course, it's 50-50 chance of each PSA coming from it being either weird as hell or scary as all hell. Today, we're going to be looking at PSAs that are on the scarier end, though to be honest, there are going to be some weird as hell PSAs mixed in. So, y'all know the drill, roll the intro. Aw, how cute. Contrary to popular belief, swans really aren't that aggressive unless you mess with their nest site or the cygnets, those being baby swans like the ones depicted here. As long as you don't mess with the adult male swans, you should be safe. And well, this is probably by far the cutest German PSA of all time. Cygnets slip sliding on the ice, only managing to actually get anywhere when they follow the mother swan's lead. This, obviously, is supposed to represent the need to take it slow on the roads. I think this was a pretty good one to start off with. Ah uh, yes, a PSA I've considered unintentionally hilarious, even in the train wreck that was the first season of this series. And fight me on this, it is the perfect example of body humor. Normally facial manipulation looks uncanny as all hell to me, seeing as how I find mental wealth one of the most unsettling commercials of all time, but this is one of the few times it fails to do that. After all, if being called a fat cow hurts you so much, maybe don't immediately gain 100 pounds in 3 seconds and fucking prove his point. Also, fat cow, the fuck's sake, 
the fucking brain dead Gen Alpha kids who hate me for being a furry could probably come up with something more hurtful than that. Seriously, Germany, I know you can create creepier online safety PSAs than this. I've seen you do it before. One of the only SWR ads I truly enjoy, mostly because it doesn't rely on the same shock value many other SWR ads use. It's genuinely wholesome, much like the entry that came before it. It's showing an animal being a good mother to teach human Germans a lesson. The dogs are adorable, the song is very pretty, hell, and guess what? It gets its message across pretty damn well, with no shock value necessary. If only I could say the same for a lot of their other PSAs, some of which you'll see later in the countdown. Nein, die ist schon weg. Was ist los? Ist Lisa bei dir? Nein. Sie antwortet nicht. Polizeinotruf. Meine Tochter ist verschwunden. Können Sie mir sagen, was Ihre Tochter als letztes anhat? Oh, mein Gott, ich... Ein bisschen Pullover. Was war denn das Letzte, was sie zu ihm gesagt hat? Aber ganz normal. Sie hat mir geschrieben bis später. Hören Sie, ich weiß, dass Sie besorgt Eigentlich sind. Eigentlich antwortet sie immer sofort. Wahrscheinlich ist sie nicht weit weg. Menschen verschwinden nicht so einfach. vor dem Haus, in dem Lisa Beckers Vater weiterhin auf ein Lebenszeichen seiner Tochter wartet. Immer mehr Leute schließen sich der Suche nach ihr an. Seit einer Moment. Das ist sie. Lisa! Lisa! Wo warst du? Wie wo war ich? Warum hast du nicht geantwortet? Papa, ich bin gefahren. Ich bin gefahren. Ah yes, one of many German PSAs that I would have never discovered had it not been for re-ads. By far one of the best channels to find obscure PSAs. And well, this is one of the best light-hearted twists I've ever seen in a PSA. This is just all sorts of an emotional roller coaster, but I actually find it pretty funny, 
Once it turns out, she just knew better to talk on the phone while driving, leading her father to direct this wild goose chase for nothing. But I guess the PSA scene still has a lot of passion within it, which I'm very happy to see, because it means I can provide you with quality PSA content for many years to come. Hello, I'm standing here. I'm in my world. Nothing to fear. I live forever. Fun fact about your favorite NB sheep. From ages 14 to 17, I used to be terrified of those robotic voice boxes that a lot of victims of throat cancer caused by smoking use to speak. And well, seeing as how low this is, I clearly am not anymore. After all, good on, good on this man for getting up on stage due to not having a natural voice anymore. I guess I really don't have an excuse to hate doing presentations in person. At least I don't have a voice that terrifies quite a few people. Anyways, this is one of the many reasons I'm not gonna smoke cigarettes. Not gonna lie, I have yet to see anyone under the age of 35 do it, so that is another reason. Teenagers and people approaching their 20s vape these days or rip a bong. Schmidt, Peters, Jansen, Hermanns. Is your son home? Yes, he's up in his room. Come in. Hi, is Klausi here? Yeah, upstairs. Well then, we'll go up and try out some kinky stuff. Yeah, okay. Cool location. Oh, uh, hello. Is this little Anna? You've got a nice bunny. Come on, I'll show you a real bunny. In real life, you would protect your children. So why not protect them on the internet? Clicksafe.de A favorite of mine and many fans of the channel. It's equal parts absurd, funny, and slightly unnerving with the final visitor. After all, this woman is all too eager to let skinheads, halo rejects, hookers, and pedophiles near her fucking children. But dear god, that creep is probably the sole reason this one is as high, it is, high as it is. After all, he gives me the willies. I mean, it makes sense considering he's trying to give that little girl his. Sick fuck. Ja, ein bisschen. Sag mal gerade. Danke. Willst du noch ein Bier? They did it! They did the meme! They did the funny this is fine thing! But seriously, this is actually a pretty clever metaphor for how hate spreads. It truly does burn like fire, and if it weren't for the existence of the this is fine meme, I would be rather freaked out by how nonchalantly the family reacts to this fire spreading around their kitchen 
especially when we find out the fire is being compared to hate, which, given Germany's history, checks out. Well, you know the drill. Now this is where I start increasing the scare factor of the PSAs. I gave y'all a bit of a reprieve since last week, the usual formula of starting with something incredibly lighthearted was non-existent due to the subject matter. Anyways, on to the PSA itself. It's a bait and switch, except this time, we think he's pouring himself a glass of whiskey, but no, he's trying to beat his addiction by pouring the whole bottle, while almost the whole bottle down the crapper, but he considers drinking it all. The implications themselves are very depressing, since he clearly no longer wants to be an alcoholic, but his method of quitting risks him relapsing. Personally, I would have just smashed the bottle itself. You're not going to get any alcohol unless you're going to lick it up off the floor and risk getting your tongue fucking cut with broken glass, but that's just me. Still, a rather unsettling and depressing PSA. Let me tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees, the moon up above, and a thing called love. Let me tell you about the stars and the sky. Jesus Christ! This started out super wholesome, just an animation of a flying bee in a forest, but of course this is where shit starts ramping up. And this PSA wouldn't be here if its ending wasn't really fucked up. A kid singing a song about love, only to get presumably molested at the end. God damn, there are some things in life you should teach him early about, Sex, especially firsthand, is not one of those things. Dear God, I shouldn't even have to say this, but PSAs like this wouldn't exist if there weren't sick fucks like this out there. God damn, I'm going to rip out my fucking wall! If only this was the most cursed AIDS PSA to ever come out of Germany. Unfortunately, as we both know, it's not. This is certainly one of the creepiest renditions of Happy Birthday I have ever heard. The 2000s audio quality is certainly not helping with it. And the fade out to black before the wham line is certainly unsettling. For some reason though, I remember the audio being a lot more distorted when I first watched this, 
Still, an unsettling number, especially considering that if you really pay attention, the more people die, the um, the less voices there are in the choir singing happy birthday. almost comical how I've talked about this PSA so many times despite never actually having shown it in full. And the reason, of course, is because I'm not trying to lose my channel after having hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers and counting. After all, YouTube likes me a lot, but not so much that I could get away with showing this shit uncensored. But because of this, for new viewers, and of course for the blind, I feel like I actually have to describe what you were not allowed to see. What I had to censor. Hitler was fucking the shit out of a woman, and it was shown relatively graphically. And the reason for this is to draw a comparison between Hitler and AIDS, as both have a pretty high death toll. But of all ways to do it, softcore Hitler porn? Really? Well, this was certainly a PSA that took a turn. I can see why people find it cheesy, though. I mean, after all, this is one of the most 80s things I've ever seen. The outfits, the arcade setting of the beginning, the car he's driving, the music, hell, even the jokes they're making. After all, the James Dean joke really would not be tasteful if anyone made it today. You know, given our politically correct culture and the fact that, you know, we have the internet so it's not like the joke would go over anyone's head for that long. And especially that pixel explosion. It all screams 1980s, but there's just something about the situations shown before the explosion and subsequent death that up the scare factor. After all, he has many near misses. First with an elderly man, and then with several cars and pedestrians. 
Granted, he did die of his own stupidity, but he was also just a teenager. He had his whole life ahead of him. Mama. Mama. Come on, sweetie. Say, Mama. Well, this was certainly depressing. For context, while most of the developed world had learned how to treat HIV and AIDS in the late 90s, AIDS ravaged Africa well into the 2000s, and oftentimes it would kill entire families to the point where, as the PSA stated, death as in the Grim Reaper may as well have been a family member for the entirety of Africa. And the skeleton mother only becomes all the more chilling with that reveal. All in all, a PSA that really hits you in your feels. Get the screaming monkey for your mobile now. Just text to 83033 and get the monkey's dying breaths sent straight to your handset. Text for the skinny cat or for the flaming fox. Well, shit, this is certainly one of the PSAs of all time, I must say. Between this and that shoe store PSA I talked about in the work safety PSAs countdown, I think we have a tie for the most 2000s PSA of all time. Between the animation looking ugly as hell, and what the animation depicts, that being a monkey's brain being fried by electric shocks, this seems like one of those PSAs that is trying very hard to be darkly comedic, but is instead just dark. Especially when the poor monkey just flops dead on the ground. Dear God. But really, selling ringtones to fight against animal testing? I really can't think of a more 2000s activism thing. This one is number 670455. Isn't it cute? If you could only be with me. Yes, our kids are available in many different sizes and colors. Whoops, I hear just now that white is sold out already. Thank you so much, everyone. It's such great fun to see that our kids are so popular with you. So, hurry up and reserve your own personal kit right First an AK-47, now we're straight up selling kids on the shopping channel. Who knew Craigslist had its own TV channel? All jokes aside, this is one of the most bizarre but unnerving PSAs I've ever seen. The chipper attitude of the saleswoman and the nice music doesn't distract from the fact that one, this child looks fucking terrified, and also the entire premise the child is being sold for half the price of a used car these days. And you thought you'd leave without at least a shock? That loud ass beep with the message comes in right as the saleswoman is talking. And then, as is a common theme with these PSAs, a fair bit of silence, dear God.
Well, shit. I think we found one of SWR's only scary PSAs that doesn't rely on pure shock value, instead going right into the fucking uncanny. As if it wasn't creepy enough hearing this music and watching a little girl have a nightmare, we instead have to bear witness to literal eye scream, as this little girl's eyes show nothing, and I mean fucking nothing, but TV static as a scream is played over it. Dear God, when SWR wants to make something horrifying, well, they definitely succeed. Sure, it's not anywhere near as bad as seeing someone take a nail right to the eye like I did in my top 30 scariest work safety PSAs countdown, but TV static eyes are definitely not something I'm a fan of seeing. You may recognize this from last week's countdown, but I figured I'd talk about it again. After all, it is one of the most sobering PSAs on the subject of war. Not even Santa is immune to the cruelty of war. In fact, he is fucking blown out of the sky for attempting to spread joy to whatever war-torn nation his sleigh was flying over. And while this PSA initially made me very angry, it became even more depressing when I thought about it more. I think what it was trying to say was, for children living in war, despair is the norm. Joy is a rarity. So for them, peace on earth is indeed nothing more than a pipe dream. And it really made me realize, like, you know, as crazy as America is becoming these days... At least I don't live in a country torn apart by war. At least I have a home to come home to. I have a reason to look forward to holidays. That's something a lot of people don't. Shit, Elton John soundtracking children beating up a homeless boy? Well, I can see where SWR, which SWF is now part of due to a merger, got the practice of relying on shock values in PSAs from. Also, to be honest, I don't care how young you are, nobody in their right mind decides... Hey, I'm gonna reenact a fight scene and beat the shit out of another kid because I saw it on TV. Yeah, kids have blamed TV for their sick actions, but here's the thing. Kids can fucking lie! Still, quite a haunting PSA. Not very good, though.
fight for me to bring me home again That you found a way to recognize Well, that was certainly a sad mood whiplash. Granted, Think did something like this back in 2000 with their famous John PSA, but somehow Germany did it even more shockingly. This seems to be a common theme with the German PSAs I find scary, to be honest. They will take a PSA from another nation and take it to its most horrifying extreme. In this case, the kid, who up until the halfway point, we think is just asleep, but instead, no. He's either dead or barely hanging on. I'm going with the latter because, well, I'm an optimist, and also they wouldn't have bothered flying him out in the helicopter if they knew he was dead, but even if he is still alive, it's still terrifying to see a likely unconscious little boy carried out from a nasty car wreck to be flown to the intensive care unit. It just goes to show that if you won't adhere to the speed limits for your own sake, do it for your most precious cargo in the back. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. It's me, Ella. Well, a, a digital version of me. Just a bit older. Amazing what technology can do these days, isn't it? All you need are a couple of pictures, like the ones you share on social media, where they can be taken and used by everybody. I, I know, f for you, these pictures are just memories. But for others, they are data. And for me, maybe the beginning of a horrible future. A future where my identity, identity can be stolen just like that. Where I can go to prison for things that I would never do. Imagine my credit score being destroyed, Dad. Or my voice copied to scam you, Mom. Mom, I'm in trouble. I, I need you to send me money, please. I don't want to become a... A meme, humiliated by everyone at school. Kill yourself, you fucking loser. And I certainly don't want... this. What you share online is like a digital footprint that will follow me around for the rest of my life. I'm telling you this because I know you love me and would never do anything to harm me. So please, Mom. Please, Dad. Protect my virtual privacy. Quite a sobering PSA. AI and social media can be quite a dangerous tool in the wrong hands, especially when children are involved. The message that anything on the internet stays on the internet forever, unless you have enough money to keep it in obscurity, is surprisingly quite a hard concept for a lot of adults who didn't grow up with the internet to grasp. How me valuing my privacy is 
why I used to keep my family name a secret before I changed my name IRL. Well, legally I'm still living under my dead name, but that's besides the point. Anyways, the idea that well-meaning parents wanting to share their memories could end up leading to their child's identity being used for crimes, their child being humiliated, or even worse, ending up in a sick pedo's hard drive is fucking horrifying. And honestly, it's one of the many reasons I hate the practice of family vlogging. Give the children their privacy. Every 11 seconds, another innocent girl is victimized. Help us to end this suffering. Dear God, it's so minimalistic, but that just adds to its sheer horror. The grimy background and scissors, the screams of pain, hell, even the sound of the scissors snipping as they tick like a clock, Dear God, knowing what it implies makes it all the more worse. And the narrator himself is also definitely unsettling. Then again, it's a horrifying PSA against a horrifying practice that unfortunately goes on in several nations, so it makes sense no punches would be pulled. While this was certainly eerie, this feels less like a daydream and more like a cross between a PTSD flashback and a schizophrenic breakdown. I mean, I guess the PSA is meant to be reflective of PTSD as a way of saying horrifying things even on TV can traumatize your kids, but would doing it this way not defeat the purpose? After all, there are dead kids, suicides, shootouts, and creeps shown in this boy's flashback. All things that would definitely traumatize a kid. I guess e even when it was still SWF, SWR seemed to rely way too heavily on shock value in their PSAs. Dear God. Yikes. I'm aware Terre de Homes has created some horrifying things, but this, this is on another level. I know there are a lot of sick fucks who travel to poor nations to get their sick kicks, but a boy as young as four? What the actual fuck? And I'm sure that the sick fucks that traumatized these kids probably do view them as toys, just like the objects shown in the first half. And of course, we have the creepy music box mixed with the Drone of Dread. I swear, all my years of watching and reviewing PSAs will probably give me an irrational fear of music boxes.
Wenn der Vater mit dem Sohn einmal ausgeht und dann keiner gern nach Haus geht, dann erlebt sie unterwegs die tollsten Sachen. Mal zum Weinen, mal zum Lachen und sie machen sich die Klotzen, die Tassen schwingen Rotz und sie freuen sich wie der Mops im Balleton. Wenn der Vater mit dem Sohn einmal ausgeht, das ist prima. While this PSA is definitely dark, the song is genuinely cute. And for anyone wondering, it is from a 1955 movie called When Der Vater mit dem Sona. And it's not the sort of thing you'd expect to hear paired with car accidents, assault, heroin overdoses, rape, and corpses. Well, this is definitely an unforgettable trip, but for all the wrong reasons. The fact that this is one of only three SWR PSAs, in my opinion, to not be absolute garbage is just disappointing. And the only reason that this is a good PSA is because it actually does make a good point. But like many other SWR PSAs, it relies heavily on shock value. Holy shit. If it wasn't horrifying enough to see this little girl run over by a car coming home from school, this PSA doubles down on the idea by having her run over again. But that third impact in the nighttime is really what puts this PSA up here, since that impact throws her already dead body. Then, if we weren't fucking horrified enough, the message of this PSA comes to light. This is one of the better things to happen to an animal on a daily basis, since apparently even worse things than being turned into roadkill to be crushed by a pulp by tires happen to animals. Dear God, and this isn't even the most horrifying animal welfare PSA from Germany. And I was lucky my uncle didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, you knew this PSA was coming. Sure, make all the I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going jokes you want. I did too when I first saw this. Because, you know, that was a meme at the time when I first saw that. And while this idea of a serpentine creature with a phallic complexion sounds hilarious on paper, this thing is just disgusting. Especially considering what it represents. This phallic tentacle thing is a physical manifestation of sexual trauma in childhood. But even if it weren't, this thing itself is certainly not a pretty sight. Why is it hairy and veiny? Why does it have a mole on it? Why is it so fucking detailed? Also, the slithering sounds are also quite sickening. All in all... I can see why it is one of the most well-known scary PSAs. <laughs> what do you hear? Do you hear a little girl having an orgasm? If so, we'll do all we can to put you in jail. If not, please donate. Contact us at hanselandgretel.de Hansel and Gretel against child abuse. I don't normally discuss radio PSAs on my channel, but this list would not be complete without a mention of this horror. I myself feel like I'm probably on a list for hearing this thing. I don't know what's worse. The idea that some sick motherfucker would hear what the PSA stated this was the sound of and get off to it, or the fact that some innocent guy could have heard this driving home from work and freaked out so much after hearing it that he crashed his car. Jesus fuck, between this and those fucking god-awful KFI radio ads, driving in Germany must have been hell in 2004. Activity, torture, or dance until death. The WSPA World Society for the Protection of Animals helps abused animals. Please help. WSPA DE. Honestly, I was so focused on bringing lesser known PSAs to light on my top 75 scariest that I completely forgot about what is, in my opinion, the most horrifying animal welfare PSA of all time. And while I'm glad my top 75 brought some obscure horrors to light, my biggest regret was leaving this off the list, because this, as much as it's been talked about by many PSA channels before me, deserves all the credit it gets. So brief rundown, anyone remember the teddy bear PSA from Liberty that I did end up talking about on the top 75? Well this is that, but taken to an even more twisted extreme. Because in between the creepy saw work on this wooden bear, we get lovely flashes of an actual bear being tortured in the same way, gory details and all. 
If it wasn't fucking obvious, I say lovely with heavy sarcasm. And if that wasn't enough, the voiceover on both the English and German versions of this PSA are just as unsettling as the rest of the content, dear god. But this is only number three, which means this is one of the holy trinity of horrifying German PSAs. Strap the fuck in. I've, I've talked about this PSA before, and while it is not the scariest German PSA of all time, it is certainly fucking up there. After all, number two is no small feat when it comes to my countdowns. And an online safety PSA really doesn't get any more horrific than a man fondling a picture of a little boy with a computer mouse while he's jacking off to him. Honestly, while the cursor assault trope is one I've seen in quite a few PSAs, and it never fails to be disturbing no matter how it's executed, this is by far the most horrifying execution of said trope in a PSA. Dear God, the audio made it so much worse, especially considering how distorted it is, even after a remaster. And you might be wondering, Antonio, this is only number two? What the fuck is number one, then? Well, you might be surprised. But it's one I talked about quite recently, actually. Well, the fascination has always been there, then and now. It's that inexplicable passion that lies within. A passion that overcomes all borders. Maybe it's the craftsmanship, the perfect balance of timeless materials. Or maybe it's the unsurpassed power and efficiency. Personally, I think it's the exhilaration that really takes your breath away. But any way you look at it, our products They've really changed the world. You guessed it. This is the second week in a row this PSA has scored number one in terms of scare factor. Honestly, aside from being an incredible recreation of an advertisement for something high-end, it is also by far one of the most shocking bait-and-switches I have ever seen in a PSA. Because once the product is revealed to be a gun, specifically an AK-47, you are then treated to arguably the most brutal montage ever shown in a PSA. And as I said last week, what makes this all the scarier is that this is all presumably real footage. These are real people getting the brunt of this violence depicted. Reality truly is one of the most horrifying things, especially when it's the worst of reality we're seeing. And therefore, that is why this is probably the only PSA that will ever have the honor of scoring the number one spot in an Antonio the Sheep countdown two weeks in a row. And that, ladies, gentlemen, and fellow non-binary daisies, is the end of another video. I am glad this one's over with, because, dear God, I hope to never have to review the holy trinity of horrifying German PSAs ever again. Anyways, I had a lot of fun working on this one, and I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I uh, enjoyed making it. 
Well, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe, and if you've done all those things, join my Discord server, link in the video and description, and if you've done all those things, y'all have a great day. Antonio out. Peace.